Do you have to use scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles for your research assignment? This lesson will help you identify the characteristics and structure of scholarly peer-reviewed articles, understand the peer review process, and decipher and comprehend the main arguments of scholarly articles effectively and efficiently with key reading strategies. Knowing the characteristics of scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles will help you to quickly identify them for your research. These articles are written by and for scholars and researchers. The authors have specialized advanced degrees like PhDs and are typically professors at universities. The author's affiliations are often listed at the beginning of the source, right after the author's name. The purpose of these articles are to present original research and experiments or original theoretical analysis that advances what is understood or known in a specific subject area or discipline. These sources will provide the most substantial information for your research and papers. These articles have a clear structure in formatting and headings and sections and are typically lengthy. They are written from an objective point of view and logical argumentative tone with many citations to published research that support their claims. They will have formal technical language and requires a higher level of education and knowledge to understand them. These articles are published by academic or scholarly journals and undergo an extensive peer reviewed process. Look for peer review information such as dates of article submission and acceptance or go to the journal website to read the About or Aims and Scope sections. Scholarly journals publish other types of sources, like book reviews, editorials, interviews, and conference proceedings that do not go through the peer review process. What does it mean for a scholarly journal to be peer reviewed? You'll find that many, but not all, scholarly articles are peer reviewed, which is a process where experts in the author's field review the article before it is published. Reviewers, also called referees, evaluate this source as a part of the body of research for a particular discipline. They will make recommendations on whether it meets the standards to be published or not, and will request revisions prior to publication. The process aims to ensure contributions made to the scholarly community are based on accurate, reliable, and original research findings and analysis. As you learned earlier, peer-reviewed articles have a clear structure in formatting, headings, and sections, and tend to be lengthy. These articles typically begin with an abstract. An abstract is the summary of the research study and findings, usually covering the purpose of the study, the methodology, results, and conclusion. Next, you will be introduced to the research question or problem and the overall intention of the research study. Following the introduction, the author will describe in the background or literature review section the current understanding and knowledge of the topic with a focus on how the study makes an important contribution. The methodology or research design section describes the procedures used to conduct the study, such as data collection and theoretical method for analysis of the data. In the results or findings section, you'll find a report of the new information or knowledge acquired through the research study. In this section, you'll learn why the researchers got the results that they did. In the discussion, analysis, and or conclusion sections, you'll read a summary and interpretation of the implications of the results in the context of the topic or field as a whole, including areas where further research may be needed. These sections are the best places to pull quotations for your research paper. The final section in a peer-reviewed article is the references list, where all of the cited previous research is available. Use this section to find more relevant research studies. Scholarly articles are written by scholars for an audience of other scholars. They thus assume prior knowledge of the subject, which you likely do not have. Scholarly articles are also written with a language and tone that is technical and jargony. To decipher and comprehend the main arguments of scholarly articles effectively and efficiently, follow these tips. While reading the article, take notes and summarize important concepts and ideas in your own words. Note the page number of the article where the idea is discussed so you can find it later easily. Note any unfamiliar words or concepts to look up at a later time. Note any connections to other articles you have read. 
Read scholarly articles in the following order. Abstract, discussion, introduction, results, and methods. The abstract will tell you right away if the article is relevant to your needs or not. Next, skip ahead to the discussion to learn about the article's findings. When you've finished the article, summarize it in two sentences on what the main argument or idea was and what it means or how you can use it in your research.